Hello everyone, uh, thank you for joining. Uh, today I want to demonstrate our neonatal skills trainer from GOMARD. Uh, the reference uh, number for this item is S109. Uh, to introduce myself before we start, my name is Nathalie, I'm from Simulid. Uh, I work uh, as a Levant Regional Manager. Uh, I'm based in Lebanon. Uh, I would like to give a brief introduction before we move uh, to the simulator uh, hands-on. I will share my screen. Okay. I believe you are able to see my screen now. So as I said, uh, today's product is a newborn PD S109. Uh, this is neonatal skills trainer simulator from uh, GOMART. This is electronic free simulator, so uh, we can uh, perform and we can practice uh, many skills on this trainer. On this trainer. To start with the general features, this is a full, a full term neonate, as you can see on the other screen. Uh, it is 3.5, the weight of this simulator is realistic, 3.5 kilogram for, uh, for a newborn, and the height is 49 centimeters. Uh, it has a smooth and supple full body skin, articulated limb joints with full range of motion, detachable umbilical cord, palpable lumbar landmarks, flexible spine. We will see all the specs when we do the, uh, the product demonstration. But this is just a quick introduction for the simulator. For the airway and breathing, uh, we have an anatomically accurate oral cavity and airway. Uh, the airway of this simulator is a 3D printed. Uh, therefore, it has an accurate uh, oral cavity and uh, airway uh, anatomy. Uh, we, can do, we can perform endotracheal intubation, supraclotic airway insertion. We can use the real devices. Uh, we can perform NG, nasogastric and orogastric, OG intubation and feeding. We can as well give a gavage to the, uh, to the simulator. Salic maneuvers. We can perform positive pressure ventilation by using the real AMBO bag or the bag valve mask. Suctioning. Uh, when, when during ventilation, we can see realistic uh, bilateral chest rise and we can perform uh, unilateral only on one side chest tube insertion. We can just place the chest tube. For the cardiac, we can perform the, the, the chest compression. Okay, for the cardiac, we can perform a chest compression doing the CPR and the ventilation. Uh, and as well recoil uh, by using standalone uh, virtual monitor and controller. Uh, for, uh, palpable pi pulses, we can have manual palpable pulses. The places uh, are on the fontanelle, it's uh, in the first picture. Okay, so as we can see in the first picture, okay, we have the palpable pulse at the fontanelle, the head, uh, by using a manual. Now we will see the bulb that we. Uh, that we can use it in order to have uh, uh, the pulses for the fontanelle, right femoral, right brachial uh, on the arm, and the umbilical uh, pulsation. For the vascular axis, uh, so we can perform a practice uh, IV axis uh, in the one hand of the uh, of the infant. 
uh, and also IV access for the umbilicus, scalp, and the hand. We can perform umbilical catheterization. Uh, heel stick, this is usually done uh, for newborn. They, they take a sample of blood from the heel stick. It's bilateral, found on both uh, heels. Lumbar puncture, we can as well do catheterization for the lumbar puncture for the baby. And intramuscular injection on one side of the thigh and intraosseous tibial infusion, which is bilateral. For the gastro, uh, gastrointestinal, uh, as I said, the airway is uh, 3D printed. So it has an, uh, a patent esophagus. For the stomach care, uh, care we can also put the ileostomy, colostomy, and suprapubic uh, uh, interchangeable modules in order to give realism. For the ur urinary catheterization can be performed as well for both male and female genitalia. We can interchange between them as per our scenario. So this is a, a quick introduction about the features of our simulator S109. I will uh, I will move to the product demonstration. So uh, this is our newborn pedi S one o nine. As I have uh, as we said, it has a supple skin, smooth skin. We cannot see the articulations, but we can feel uh, for the articulations. So the baby can be articulated well as well the head for intubation purposes, the head and the chin tilt. To start with the features, uh, as I said, the weight is 3.5 kilogram and the height 49 centimeters. Uh, a quick features. Okay, so uh, I will start uh, the stacks from head to toe. Uh, for the pulsation, we have brachial, we have femoral, we have uh, fontanelle. Uh, so by the using uh, and the umbilical. So this is the bulb that we can use. Uh, I don't have the connectors, but uh, this is the place where we put the bulb. And by manual, uh, we can feel the fontanelle pulse and the umbilical pulse, and the femoral and the brachial pulse. To start with the, uh, with the uh, intubation, uh, it has a 3D printed airway. So by using the real laryngoscope with the neonatal blade, and every time we want to do the intubation uh, using the laryngoscope and the ET tube supraglottic uh, devices, all of the real devices, we have to duplicate all the, laryngo the laryngoscope and the ET tube, as well as when doing the catheterization, we should also duplicate the Foley catheter. When using suctioning as well, so everything that we're doing insertion, we should duplicate uh, all the tubes and devices uh, with the mineral oil. This mineral oil comes with the simulator. So we can do intubation, uh, oral intubation and nasal intubation. We can do suctioning. We can give uh, uh, tube feeding for the baby. Coming down, we can ventilate the simulator by using uh, the real uh, pediatric uh, neonatal embo bag, the, bag the, the BVM. And when we intubate, uh, when you, we ventilate the uh, simulator, we will see a realistic chest rise if we did uh, correct intubation. Coming down, we can perform CPR. We have the coil under the skin, so CPR can be uh, practiced. On this arm, it, we have a mag magnet attached hand in order to do the IV uh, sampling. So we can give, uh, we can take, uh, we can take the blood uh, infusion, and we can give drugs, for example. On the second hand, so the IV is on, only on one hand. This is the umbilical. 
um, unfortunately, I don't have the umbilical uh, interchangeable module. So we remove this one and put the umbilical, the real one, uh, the, the one that comes with the simulator in order to do, uh, to feel the pulsation for the newborn and to do the catheterization. Uh, these modules are for the stoma care, so can be removed and can be placed uh, the red ones that comes along with the simulator. So on this side, uh, we attach it to the uh, to this bulb in order to have manual uh, pulsation. Uh, on this area, we can do the chest tube insertion, placement of the tube. On this side, we can do the priming in order to fill uh, inside reservoirs for the catheterization, polycatheterization, and the umbilical uh, umbilical catheterization. So we, uh, I don't have again the connectors, but we uh, insert uh, using the connectors uh, the blood, uh, the water, excuse me, the urine, and for the umbilical, the water. And we can draw it from the other side in order to uh, to take out the uh, the water from the internal reservoir. From this side, we have intramuscular injection. So this is again interchangeable module. So when it becomes old, we can uh, replace it with a new one. Uh, so the IV from this side and the intramuscular from this side. On the second side, I don't have intramuscular. For the intraosis injection, I have on both sides. I can remove the leg simply by removing the skin and attach with the Velcros found here. So this is the leg. I can remove them both since it's bilateral intraosseous injection. And as simply as that, I can take the intraosseous bones. We have many that comes with the simulator. The black part, I don't remove it. I just remove the white side and I fill in using the connectors some water, very little amount. After I finish to fill the water inside, I place the intraosseous bone and the leg. And we are good to, to do the intraosseous injection using the real needle. The same thing on the second side, on the second leg. And I don't have the, uh, the male module, but this is the female module. So it's an plug and play. When I fill the reservoir with water by using those plugs, I remove the female one and place the male one. At the end, when I finish my, uh, my doing my skills, I, uh, I should empty uh, the reservoirs with the water. So I take all the bones, I remove the water from inside, uh, as well as the for the folic catheterization, the reservoir for water. So I made sure I make sure that uh, no water will be uh, will be inside the simulator. After I finish with my practice, so as you can see, no electronics. We can uh, do many skills, and after I finish, I take a dishwashing uh, soap. I clean my simulator, so I take a towel with a uh, uh, cold water with drop of dishwashing uh, soap, and I uh, swipe the simulator and let it to dry. And at the end, I put, I sprinkle some baby powder in order for the skin to have this realistic soft skin. This is everything for the simulator. Any questions? Can we check the um, um, spinal cord? Yes. Number puncture, sure. trainer? Yes. 
Yes, I forgot uh, for the lumbar puncture. So this is a lumbar puncture uh, uh, injection module. So the same thing, we remove from one side. Okay, we have two sides. We remove from one side the black uh, cover and we place uh, water, fluids, anything. We place it using the connectors and we close it. As simply as that, we place it on the simulator. And by palpation, we can see all the lump. I can feel the uh, the, the lumbar, uh, the L5 and L3, and I can do the, the injection. Okay. Well, thank Any you, questions? Natalie. Uh, we can take questions okay. now about the simulator itself because I'm moving to uh, the neonatal virtual monitor that you can add to the simulator so you could practice with higher fidelity. Any questions? Thank you. Great. Okay, thank you for your attention. Uh, hi again. Uh, I will be presenting the GOMART Vital Signs Simulator. So this is uh, Duo. Okay, so it is both. If I would show you, so it, this is uh, the controller software which is called Omni2. And this is the, um, so this uh, computer that would show you the vital signs. Okay, so this is a game between two softwares, one to be installed on a computer. So this would be the student uh, facing computer where they would see the vital signs. And this here is the instructor uh, controller. This is an Android tablet. It could be an Android phone. So you could just uh, select your devices and um, do the connection and Bluetooth with uh, each other and you're ready to go. Okay, so uh, from, from this interface here, it's an easy to use interface. You could change your vital signs. As you see, I will give you an example for uh, for like the SpO2 changes. So if I want to change the SpO2 to 86 and apply now, so you would see that immediately the preductal SpO2 SpO2 has changed to a to 85. I could do the same for the postductal. Okay, again you could see. Uh, uh, of course, respiratory rate can change. Okay, so all kind of vital signs, heart rate, okay, ETCO2, blood pressure, temperature. Okay, so you could control every single vital sign you see on this uh, screen. If Also, you could customize. So uh, if, if you don't want to see the so many vital signs, so you could uh, remove some of those okay you could also go to the uh, ECG library 
okay and you could change from sinus rhythm to v-fib so as you see now on the monitor we have a v-fib okay so uh it's it's really easy to use and it adds a lot of fidelity if you combine it with your s109 uh, it's uh, also not like uh, the software that you purchase from play store or app store it's uh, fully loaded the software for all your educational needs so what you can do here is let's say you selected those vitals this is what you want to show your students so now you can save those as palettes and scenarios so you could um, save it as let's say test uh, four okay you can color code it and click on save so then this palette is now saved you could go to the palette list uh, and uh, okay uh, choose Test four. This is the uh, the palette we just created, and you can tap on load and play. So also, if you decide to go for different Upgar score uh, savings, so I could click on Upgar ten, for example, and load. So immediately, as you see, you will have those vitals loaded. Okay, you could go again to Upgar two and load. And okay, then you would have, let's say, a bradycardia with uh, severe hypoxia. So you can create your own. These uh, uh, these palettes are already there. So, but you could still create your own, save your own, depending on your scenarios. Okay. Uh, even more than that, you could uh, have you could design uh, branching scenarios where you could. Um, it, it put these uh, palettes in a scenario, whether it being linear scenarios or uh, branching scenarios, and have uh, your neonatal resuscitation courses automated, and where you can also put some uh, objectives, and you could uh, record these objectives because at, at the end of the session, so when when you finish, let's say, so this is the set of scenarios we have. So let's say uh, we have an acute respiratory distress scenario, load scenario. So then you could uh, start now seeing that the uh, scenario is there and you could select uh, the uh, palettes that are there. Okay, so you can jump from one clinical status to another. You could also input uh, the actions of your students okay and of course everything will appear in the log okay so this is the log that you can use later on for debriefing okay so it's it's not just a vital science uh, a virtual vital science simulator it's also a full tool to save all your palettes and scenarios so you don't have to change the vital signs every time you just go and want to train your students okay so it is uh, even uh, considered as a library so you could fill it up with your scenarios and standardize your trainings on the long run uh, with with um, whatever curriculum you you follow being the american heart association or erc or so any any kind of maybe local, also Saudi uh, uh, Heart Association. So it, it depends on uh, what are the uh, guidelines you use. Okay, so um, done with the Omni. I would just uh, want to show you now on this shared screen that we have uh, the vital signs uh, monitor as I showed you and you can set uh, your alarms. Okay, so let's say the heart rate, you can set an alarm for the low and the high. Okay, the low uh, could be below than 70. If I click OK, then the, I will have the alarm. Okay, so it, it is really a dynamic and interactive uh, monitor that you can customize. You can change colors, you can add 
and remove uh, vital signs. So it's it's really uh, up to you to design this. You could also for the blood pressure, the manual blood pressure, you could set intervals. So if if you want uh, a blood uh, a blood pressure measurement every let's say minute every two minutes so you can you can do all of this okay one uh, also very important feature of our software that it's um, not available with the other competitors or the simple softwares that you see on uh, the play store and google store um, we have the electrotherapy uh, panel so you could defibrillate okay so let's say i want to defibrillate with 25 joules this is all operated by the student so then you click on charge then the uh, the shock is ready to be delivered so as you see here it is now delivered you could deliver a synchronized shock okay cardioversion shock you could also uh, use the pacemaker so you you have to select the rate the targeted rate of pacemaking and then start going up with the current so the, the threshold is selected from omni so as you might be seeing here uh, the, you can go to the uh, settings and uh, select the electrotherapy okay so ventilation settings hypoxia automatic responses so everything can be set to automatically respond so the external pacing defibrillation cardioversion okay so let's say for the external pacing i set the value of 43 so whenever the value of my uh, current will increase above 43 i will see uh, the automatic capture so look at this now i will add 40 and now 50 and then you will see that here on my screen that the uh, pacing is now active and that you can see it's picking up okay so this is in general what uh, i wanted to to show i'm open for questions now thank you Uh, do we have uh, 12 lead ECG in, uh, in the vital signs, uh, the simulated vital signs monitor? Yeah, actually, it's a great question. Thank you for this. Uh, we can also uh, show a 12 lead ECG by clicking on this button here. So the simulator will show you uh, the 12 lead ECG trace that you can play again save or even print okay thank you great thank you and like this is directly connected to the library of ecgs so the ecg you would you would select will will be immediately reflected even on the 12 lead ecg Actually, I have one more question. So, uh, to make it more to make it more realistic, uh, uh, while starting the scenario, would it be possible not to show the leads attached, uh, disconnected, and then while the students start to attach leads, so it will start to show up one after the other? Yeah, exactly. So, because our simulator might not have detectors for the uh, sensor so you could go here to the monitor leads and click on turn off all so as you see on the shared screen of the virtual monitor all the 
uh, sensors have been turned off. So, and then as an instructor, when you keep visual on your students, so if you see that they have attached the SPO2, SPO2 probe, for example, at the preductal site, you turn it on and then you would start having a value. Okay, let's say capnometry, then they connected the capnometry, connected the ECG, uh, left blood, uh, arm blood pressure cuff, leg blood pressure cuff. So, so then every sensor that gets connected, you can activate it immediately, the temperature sensor. Okay, so all of those can be activated again all at once by clicking all and done. So this is uh, also helpful uh, during your simulation session. Also to add realism, you need to uh, stimulate or trigger your students to connect sensors so they can see the vital signs and then you can give them those one after the other. Great, thank you. Yes, you're welcome. So maybe we can start, stop the recording and maybe take some questions if someone is interested.